Hey guys, Tyler here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Elst outskirts. Playing for today, spawning on the left, we have Crossfire playing as the Brits. Straight away locking in Lin Lease. Teaming up with him is Lazy Ren, also playing as the Brits in his loadout is Royal Artillery Commandos An infantry section of and Tactical been Support. Random team these guys are Crossfire rank 9, random Brits, and Lazy Ren around rank 30. Random Brits. Basic off against them, we have Suicide Duo. Playing as us there in his loadout is Festung Armor. Mobile Defense. And German Mechanize. Teaming up with him is Ninja Pepe. Also as us there who has Strategic Reserves. Blitzkrieg. And Jaeger Armor. These guys seem to be a couple Korean Smurf accounts. Don't have that many matches, but rank uh, 35 or so. Axis arranged team. So uh, obviously some pretty strong players. So should be in for a good match. Pretty uh, even ranks between these two teams. And you pushing forwards out of the building. Some nice long range suppression in there. Daisy Ring going for the fuel up in the north. And you trying to hold on around the cutoff here in the south. Oh, and that's actually a Vickers jumping into the building here. Looks like Pyres are going to try to come around to its blind spot. Needs to send a section over here to try to force them away. You can actually shoot out of the side if you get like some engineers or something to destroy cover that tree. It's a nice trick on this map. Infantry squad trained and ready to Playing go. as Brits. And more the team. Oof, big shot. Nice opening salvo. Meanwhile, we've got some infantry combat down here. 3v2, however. Green is getting overwhelmed. MG coming in in support, but might be too late, and squad goes down, in fact. Late retreat. Suspicion in on one squad. Oh, now both of them suppressed. Pose out running around. G42 fires first. Vickers has to get out of there. Squad makes it to heavy cover before the MG gets the suppression on. That was nice for Lazy Ren. Might, yeah, if he gets lucky and doesn't get suppressed, he might have been able to outgun him there, but ends up getting suppressed and now gonna get overwhelmed. Oh, and there's a universal carrier. Kind of late for crossfire, but it's the Vickers up there, not straight away. Yeah, even match so far, however. They're both teams making a play for a fuel early and then getting forced off it. Not a good engagement here. Too close to the building for this heavy cover to actually count. Oh, now the Universal Carrier from the side as well. It's weird from Crossfire though to send his Universal Carrier over to his teammate's side, look for some opportunities to do some damage over there whilst Suicide Duo is basically completely forced off the map. Doesn't you know, let his Universal Carrier sit around idle during these crucial early moments. It's most effective. Secure the capture and then retreat. Looks like there's not going to be connected though until they uh, secure that central VP. You can now build armored See you with the chase down, you some good damage in here. Decides to abandon the chase there, doesn't want to risk losing it. Don't get spotted going down and abandoned. It's looking pretty good for the Brits early. Now re-securing the fuel in the north. Getting some sandbags up there as well. 
And overall, Suicide Duo hasn't been up to much. Like after he got forced away uh, in the south, hasn't had any map presences. Probably because he's only got two squads right now. Two squads of Grandiers. This is not enough for this stage of the game. Oh, got a little bit lazy there. <clears throat> yeah, and Faust came through. Down goes the Universal Carrier. Maybe Crossfire. Trying to micron too many fronts at once. Getting a little bit lazy and loses his UC because of it. Goes for the five man upgrade now. It's just time to get all those uh, Thompsons. There's Assault Tommies. Mortar once again doing some good work. You can actually see some uh, pea greens out for Nin Ninja Pepe. I just. Don't really know what Suicide Duo is up to. Floating uh, quite a lot of resources, I guess, going for like a fast tier 2 vehicle, but because they haven't had good enough map control, they haven't had enough fuel, and so that's not actually going to end up being a fast tier 2 vehicle. Maybe a very medium speed one. No excuse for not getting one more unit of some description before this. AC on the field for laser Ren, and that's bad news. You're planning to go for a light vehicle as Ossia, and an AC is on the field before you get your light vehicle. That is a uh, very bad news. In fact, double ACs for the Brits. Crossfire might be going for the AC into quad combo and be quite powerful with this commander. Ooh. Some juice pop on the second squad. Didn't go for the full chase. Might not have got him anyway. Well, these ACs looking to do some damage. Oh, gets around the side of the MG. No, sets it up in an interesting angle. Could throw the uh, phosphorus grenade here if you wanted to. And there it goes. Does indeed force the retreat because of that. Here comes a 2 2 2 now, but look how late that is for Suicide Duo. Way too late. Oh, incendiary rounds getting some good damage in. The enemy is taking our territory. Run out just, just backing away anyway, and AC gets a good long range shot and forcing back the 2 2 2. He's going to double down now, he's going for the pack. This is his next option. And the Axe is struggling for map control here. Eyes with double fuel. Might be a good time for the Axis maybe to 2v1 on one side. That way they can uh, more effectively cover half of the map with it. Team weapon heavy play. I'm going to try and split, split between the uh, two fronts. Because, you know, between like two machine guns and two packs, they should be able to shut down the British movements quite effectively if it's all on one side of the map. The uh, tail up here for Ninja Pepe might pay dividends. Moving in position on the AEC. A little bit of headway in the north for Ninja Pepe, but Suicide Duo is still struggling. And there we go, it is going to be uh, half track for Crossfire. No upgrade on quite yet, but let's have the munitions. There we go. Pack. Ooh. They retreat squad down. Another squad down. It's two now for Suicide Duo. Two very avoidable losses. The squad of pioneers has arrived. 
Trying to soften up these cover positions. This machine got a little bit more effective. And yeah, double fuel still for the allies. This is looking rough for the Axis. Oh, incendiary rounds doing a whole bunch of damage to the AEC. Can you smoke to just uh, avoid getting killed here, however? Nope! Okay, secures the kill. Greedy stuff. If you just smoked back away this way, it would have been fine. I'm trying to get out of there without spending the smoke and ends up going down to the pack. Because yeah, you can attack with the MG with the MG42 rounds through the smoke. There's no attack round function, so being perfectly safe. Okay. Suicide Jew finally branching out to the south here. The bunker is now with Oof. Hospital. That obviously mortar doing some good damage, however. 22 pushing forwards. His pack out. Okay, his pack very far in the south. It needs to be closer to the 222, otherwise, it could get ambushed by the AEC. We actually have a mortar pit going up. Going to be covering both the middle and the north with that. And it looks like he's not going to go for the quad upgrade. He's still going to put two squads inside. <laughs> Gearing up for a big push. In fact, they're going double mortar pits. Same position. This could be interesting. It's fausted though, this could be trouble. Pack right there. Here he goes. Oh, straight forwards. No Faust yet. Pack gets one shot off. Jumps the squads out. Pack repositioning. Faust. And I think it might, might have been an attack round. And five manages to make it out of there. Lucky break. Here comes the AEC now going after the 2 2 2 pack in retreat. Unable to assist too much. Keeping his getting forced off. Pack sitting up. AC circling around it, however. And now sections chasing down the pack. And there he goes. Oh man, AC now doing some damage to the pack as well as it tries to backpedal. Oh, and he's spinning it around. Greedy is coming to support, but against two assault sections, quite well vetted. It's not enough firepower to save the pack. Down it goes. Ooh. And he tries to go for a Faust. Ends up losing the squad. MG finally here to support. Getting some suppression in second pack from Ninja Pepe coming down to assist in this. Using the smoke here. AC misses that shot, and Greedy is... Oh! Just about to recrew it, but the AC connects for the killing blow. Unlucky for Suicide Duo, missing the kill in the quad and then losing his AT gun. And so, it's an injury right there. Off grenade coming in here. Oh, gets cancelled because he uh, got suppressed. Didn't have the range. But not a good rough grenade target anyway. The gun is here, the other two miles up here. You're never going to be able to do too much damage to it. Oh, and the double mortar pits doing, doing the dirty work there. Forced the MG out of the building instantly. Here comes the pack. Let's see has to pull back. At least the Axis have finally secured a fuel, but man, Suicide Duo has suffered so many casualties. Let's well take a look at the KDs here. Look at that, 23 to 40. Ninja Pepe not performing much better, honestly. Despite, despite playing, uh, despite playing better. Now these double mortar pits making things unpleasant. 
especially capping in the middle is going to be trouble with our velocity players getting a fuel cache down not a bad idea they might have to, as I said, start double teaming in the south. Because with the mortar pits, it's going to be making their life just so hard. Okay, here comes the AC. And the, oh, he's going for a second mortar pit, in fact. Same spot. Gonna be a lot of firepower and the axis are quite far behind in terms of fuel. Usually maybe you'd be able to make a push on this with a uh, strong timing on a medium tank or something. But they are so far behind that's unlikely to happen. Don't have any uh, howitzer commanders either. So can't really bomb them out with that option. Might have to go for an elephant here and just try to shoot them long range. We have a selection here, going for fish string armor. With access to the smoke, but this is a very unusual commander. One of the worst in the game, I'd have to say. Maybe uh, on the Smurf account, he doesn't have all the commanders. Either way, uh, yeah. <laughs> A lot of commanders, a lot better than this. I don't think the pack 43 is going to be much help. So those mortar pits, not going to be able to put it up in a relevant position where the mortar pits won't be able to range it. Ninja Pepe getting boxed out here. Here comes a Cromwell for Lazy Wren. Enza 4 coming in for Ninja Pepe. I'm surprised I've actually managed to put a Panzer 4 at a similar timing to this first Cromwell, but I suppose Lazy Wren is uh, floating a tremendous amount, both fuel and manpower. I had this quite a long time ago, maybe was trying to weigh his options, thinking about going straight for it. Tank destroyer is similar, but a little bit early for that. Okay, coming in. Dodge, but can't dodge his right into it and uh, has to retreat. Oh, mine and mortar pit. Squad down, was that his penguins? Yeah, I think they were. And now bunker under siege by the mortar pits. Well, Cromwell about to tangle in the north squad nearby for a Faust as well. Might be an extension from Lazy Wren. He doesn't get in range for the Faust, however. Oh, he does! What? How? Oh, Cromwell missing its mark. And that's going to be an early kill. Nice scalp there. Ninja Pepe. Going to be able to get rid of trench next tree shot by the packers there in support zoning out the AC nicely in fact MG might go down here it does go down so overall a strong push from Ninja Pepe just what the Axis needed at this point because they are way behind about to tick under halfway on the VPs as well I feel like they've just never really pushed forwards to this VP. Now with the mortar pits pushing on this one, extremely risky. Oh man, he is going for the pack 43. He's going to be in range of these mortar pits. <laughs> Let's see if this can work. Pack 43 does spit out some big damage. There we go. Look at that. Straight away, mortar pit pops the brace. Well, the other two respond and start barraging the Pat 43. Even with the brace on, Pat 43 still dishing the damage. Okay, here we go. Mortar pit starting to go to work on it, but one has already gone down. Falling in the smoke. Oh, recon plane, in fact, from Ninja Pepe. 
Pack 43 still standing. These mortar pits going now quickly. Two down, one to go. No brace on that second one from Crossfire. Meanwhile, Panzerfort doing some damage in the north. Without Lazy Ren, is he going to do the bracing here? No. <laughs> and, and I thought that the Pack 43 was going to be hopeless, but the British players just not responding in time. And look at that. Takes out all three of them. With the one Pack 43. Might end up losing it right here. Rotating now to deal with the AC. And no, it stands. To um, force him back to Panzer IV. And there we go. Well, I mean, I thought the Austria team went for a hell of a time, but that Pack 43 does the job. Looks like he's going to deconstruct it here now as well, get his resources back a little bit. Which is that grenade easily, but too much firepower here. P rings are gonna have to pull back regardless. Oh, what a turnaround. Our Axis players seem to be in the driver's seat a little bit. Crossfire has gone straight for the Churchill. It's going to be very hard to kill. Might need to see another pack 43 for that bad boy. Otherwise, uh, dealing enough damage to it can be tricky. Though. We do have the elephant as well from Ninja, Ninja Pepe. That's a pretty good. It's the Churchill. We are losing a sector. Yep, that might be the end of that mortar team. Yep. Oh, yep, there it goes. The mortar team has been killed. Okay, try and position now. Our opponents are seizing a sector. Before chasing away these units in the north. The Churchill Crocodile is ready. The crocodile coming in for Lazy Ren. This is his commander, tactical support. Gonna see one of those uh, forward observation posts. It's always a lot of fun. Oh, it's uh, mine. Oh, right in front of an AT gun as well. In fact, double AT guns. This is the killing blow. AT guns on the chase now, but a green deer there to stop them from doing so. Churchill forcing a lot of retreats in the south. We do have a panther coming in for suicide duo now. Took a while. But it's going to be sorely needed. Two Churchills on the field for the British team. And this, this is so hard to deal with. The Churchill backed up with double AT guns. Extremely hard to beat. Guns. Oh, take a bundle grenade, get forced off there. Pack is on hand. It's one sh shot in on the Churchill. Churchill pushing right the way forwards, but Panther there to repel it now. Picked up by the solo AT gun. T gun. I'm going to get rid of this final bunker. We have the railway artillery though coming in trying to defend this position. The double bunkers locking down the territory nicely here. Oh! A little bit aggressive with the pack here. Ends up getting decreed by the Churchill Panzerford. Finally repaired, but doesn't have the V2 skirts, so not going to match up terribly well against the crocodile. Now the AT gun's going to try to destroy the D-Crew pack. I don't know why he pushed so far forwards with that pack. 
comes the Panther, but both the AT guns are now crewed. So the X team not going to have too much success up here. Now Firefly coming in, Crossfire to back up that Churchill. Still has the M5 rolling around, can use it as uh, some forward reinforcements. And can upgrade it for the quad, but he doesn't really need it, no... Uh, still trying to knock out these bunkers and they're still standing. But yeah, there aren't any uh, anti-tank strips or anything from either of the Axis players, so... I'm not going to have any planes to shoot down apart from the recon. That's how much health the Churchill has. One, eight, one tank shot and a Faust. Not enough to give it engine damage. the recon plane. Enemy causing trouble. Try he has plenty of munitions, can upgrade it if he wants to, though he's not in the friendly territory at the moment. It's a little bit of a crush in there with the Churchill. Nice bundle grenade. Hack getting some good shots in here though. I think coming forwards. Firefly there though. So is the AT gun. Oh, he hits him with the tulips. Only one connects though. Perhaps this Panzer Tactician to try and escape. Big push. Ninja Pepe joining in on the fun, bringing his forces over to this left hand side now. Pushing crossfire all the way back here. Oh, oh man. Assault section's doing so much damage. Oh, he gets another squad. Both of those going down there. Oh, we've got some fighting in the north. Churchill Crocodile getting aggressive. Squad down there. Double AT guns lining up on the Panzer IV. And then the base huts are going to steal away that MG42. A bit of friendly fire from the base houses, however. Switch grenade there. Oh, and a bundle grenade in response. No dodge. He's closing the distance. Might actually get the wipe here. The run and gun. Don't I think he's going to get it, unfortunately. But look at the VP situation, how quickly it's turned around after knocking out all those mortar pits. Axis have drained around 30 VPs and the Allies 150, so... Good turnaround by the Axis team. Now, the elephant hit in the field as well as a command tank. Interesting. Oh, my ability damaged on pioneers. I don't see that too often. Looks like it was actually slowing them as well. It's kind of funny. Two rockets connecting both of them. That gets decrewed, but the support of Ninja Pepe enough to force Crossfire back. could be pushing amongst all this. So the vehicles on the other side of the map would be a good time to get aggressive and here it comes. And there's the elephant behind that, forcing the Churchill off. A lot of repairs required now for the Axis team though. Quite a lot of damage from that Firefly. Now we've got some brains on these sections. Oh man, the MG stands no chance. Oh, elephant misses first shot, I think, there on the crocodile. Okay, 
connects with that one. Big damage. Looks like he destroyed the D-Crude MG. Well, if he gets another shot in, Churchill going to require quite a lot of repairs now. And Elephant pushing aggressively here. Double AT guns are nearby. Got to be careful. It's another hit on another Churchill. Elephant off to a great start. A lot of health damage just so far. Here comes the Firefly. Oof. Brick players having trouble with this Elephant now. Forcing all of the vehicles back, giving some long range hits and thanks to the spotting scopes, giving them all the sight. Where do you want us? T gun finally in position to return fire, but bounces that shot. We actually have a Cromwell command tank here from Lazy Ren. Uh, a couple of these sections with Piats. Is that a misclick? That's generally not a very good idea. Here we go, they're coming in, looking for some damage on the elephant. Looks like he might only have one on each though. I'm not going to be spinning out enough damage to really threaten the elephant. Beautiful command tank getting some damage in on them. Infantry and support now as well. Ooh, double AT guns. E4 just needs one more shot to go down. Switch targets over to the elephant, but now these AT guns unsupported. We need to chase them off. Troop shot briefly slowing Panther here. The backed up by the pack, however. Now the Tulip Rockets, only one connecting. Whoa, what happened over here? Elephant, one shot from death, but knocks out the crocodile. Cromwell looking for the kill on the elephant here, he's going in for it. See if he can get it. Elephant moving correctly. Oh, main gun crit. That is cruel. Oh, I feel bad for Lazy Ren there. I'm not sure. I think there was one shot from death. The main gun crit denies him the opportunity for that one shot. Probably would have ended up being on the frontal armor as well, but still that is unfortunate. And now we've got a Werfer for Suicide Duo. Should be good against uh, these double AT gun positions for the Brits. We actually have seen 17 pounders be quite effective against elephants as well. I wonder if we'll see one of the British players go for one here. Rockets, but off target. Cross fire on the charge. Churchill backing this up. She gets the suppression in there. Double AT guns, but no. I mean, double AT grenades, but no snare. Oh, and target weak point. Now the Churchill in a little bit of trouble. Panther hunting this down. Double packs pumping away. Needs. One more shot, no, one more shot after that. Firefly's there, Panther blitzing in for the killing blow. And he gets it nicely done there by Suicide Duo. Now the Brit team on the ropes a little bit. Lost both their churches, the Crocodile and the Regular. Oh. But uh, a little bit careless with the flak panzer down that goes. 
take a look at army sizes though, we see around a 30 deficit for the allies right now. Just a couple uh, unfortunate engagements, you know, didn't quite get the elephant. Losing the Churchill. But nice work with the tank weak point. Pit squad's getting forced away again. Some uh, base out to fire, trying to get rid of this cash. to in a nice position but assault tommies working their way around the sides looking for the flank comes the Werfer catches the flanking squad one of them has to retreat Ninja Pepe pushing forwards the elephant camped out in the middle As you're in, has uh, just about enough for another chip. Churchill Crocodile. Must be his next uh, item on build order. Fossil grenade on MG. This is the retreat. In fact, both of them retreating. This squad retreating through the phosphorus might actually end up losing it. Doesn't get focus fire on retreat. Double fireflies now for crossfire. Make life hard for this panther. Six pounder there as well. So you got the tracking? Yeah, oh no, anvil. Elephant coming down in the south now. Ooh! Takes out the AEC max range. Takes those spotting scopes. The double AT guns working on the elephant though. Decent chunk of health off. We have the crocodile flares up. Oh, super dive bomb. It's good damage to the AT guns. Doesn't decrease either of them, but the Panzer IV in there looking for the kill. Decrease one, second one out on negative cover, sets up to return fire, gets one shot off. Elephant now killing the AT guns that have been decrewed. Here comes the crocodile. But the elephant's right there, crocodile looking for the kill, and does get the kill on the green deer. But the second AT gun also destroyed, crocodile with no support now against the elephant. Has to back away. What was that? A bundle grenade decrying a, a T gun there. Oh, and now a pack coming forward to destroy it outright. G42 in a really nice position to cover this VP, but the axis are low on VPs. Crocodile heading up towards the two medium tanks which are heading towards the north and away from the elephant as well. Crocodile should reign supreme up here. Looks like he's going for the flak panzer first. He's got less armor, higher chance of killing it. There's one more shot to kill. Can the flak panzer escape? Oh, he accidentally shot the panzer four. Oh, but he gets the killing blow with close to max range shot. Lucky break there for Lazy Ren. And the ally is getting pushed all the way back here. Struggling for territory, the elephant is so powerful. Yeah. Coming forwards. Another target. 
It's really uh, lazy really losing those double AT guns. It's so costly. Ooh, big worth it. Down was another squad for Lazy Ren. Now his army. A little bit understaffed. I'm not using the crew appears here. There's an option with this commander. Elephant not fully repaired. Where's he going with it? Going after the crocodile. I take rotating to the middle. Allies putting pressure on the VPs, but oh, the command tank gets the kill. There's three models with one shot there. A little bit unlucky there for crossfire. Other flak pans are coming in for Ninja Pepe. These two fireflies could get a lot of damage done. This elephant a little bit low in health. I'll come down to sight and unfortunately that's where the Axis have the advantage with the spotting scopes. Oh, Faust. She's seeing a mortar team coming in for crossfire. Maybe wants to use that smoke to help contest the VPs. Not a bad idea. Just be careful. Just get bombed out by the double worfers now. She all oh, just outright destroys it. Oh man, Lazy Ren. Having a bad run. In in general, I think these uh, oh, Werfers have been slightly overperforming compared to what they're usually up to. There's a uh, partially repaired this elephant. In come the tulips. Double tulips. Big stun. Pack and Panzer IV coming to support it. An elephant, low in health but still alive. Panther coming in on the rear. Here comes the crocodile. Oh, and now these are bouncing. P4 goes down. Firefly's in trouble. Panther blitzing, looking for the kill on them. Oh, but missing that shot. Firefly's both one shot from death. The T grenade's going to come through. Who's going to connect first? Is it going to be the Panther? Oh, mutually assured destruction. Trading blows right at the end there. The Flak pans are also going down, but Elephant's still alive. So is the Crocodile. Pushing forward with the half track and support can uh, reinforce. Comes the Werfer. Got a friendly fire there. This is his own uh, squad, so it doesn't do too much damage. Crocodile chasing away the command tank. Elephant all the way in the back, getting repairs, unable to do anything about this. Here comes a Cromwell now. This elephant doesn't have that much anti-tank support really just uh, the two packs at the moment in fact just one pack so one Panzer four here could I mean uh, one Cromwell rather could just flank and <laughs> knock just about everything out oh maybe it's back too soon in comes second Panther in support both teams low on the VP counts now however it's about to tick under a hundred And misses its first shot there. This fire's been unable to build another vehicle so far. Oh, sending in M3. 
and his bunk is causing some issues. There's a nice flank in here. It's gonna come in on this squad, forcing it to retreat. No! She comes in on the VP, but it's got neutralized. Oh, meanwhile, big damage. Crocodile has to pull back, but Pierre's pushing forwards, and so is the Crom. Here comes a Panther now. Oh, and the elephant just refuses to miss at Vet 3. Cromwell goes down, Piet's doing some good damage to the Flak Panzer, but oh, taking big hits in return. And the Allies throw in the towel. Oof. Well, there was a pretty strong start from the Allies, but man, their reaction to the Pack 43 shooting at their emplacements was so slow. Only one of them activated brace on the emplacement that was getting fired at, and it was very slow for them to switch their priority to start barraging it. In fact, I think maybe only one of the pits ended up doing that. And that was a big momentum swing for the Axis, and just after that played solid, you know, on the back of the Elephant, just zoning everything out, making life very hard for the Allies. But uh, so, yeah, some solid play from the Axis, and a little bit unfortunate that they didn't knock out the Elephant, got super low so many times, but just couldn't quite get the kill on it. Well, I'll wrap on that, guys. If you'd like your game to be cast by me, details in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Bye. Good luck.